Hello, and you join me today beside a busy road crossing the Banavi Swing Bridge. Now, the Banavi Swing Bridge is at the end of the Caledonian Canal, which is a canal system that comes from Inverness down to Fort William. And at the end of the system, there is Neptune's Staircase, which is quite worth a visit. But that's not where I'm going just now. This is going to be a short video today. I decided to do quite a few short ones because I had a few long videos. And today, I'm going to capture an image of the Jacobite train, or, as some people know it, Hogwarts Express. Let's see if I can cross the road without getting killed. It's actually not that busy a road. It's just that there's some traffic lights nearby and it's causing the traffic to build up. So, crossing the A830 from Fort William to Malig, and beside this wonderful swing bridge, which lets larger boats go through and up to the Neptune staircase, there's a railway swing bridge as well. And that's here. And it's quite a lovely old bridge. Well, it's not lovely, it's a nice old bridge. But the view behind is of Ben Nevis, a signal box and a nice white building as well, an old house. But what's important for me is we're going to get a steam train coming across that in just a few minutes. Unfortunately for me, this is the middle of the summer and there won't be an awful lot of steam. So I should come here in October. So before the train comes, I'm going to make sure I'm set up properly with the right settings. But I'm also going to get the composition right, so I've got the signal box and the house on either side of the shot. I'm very lucky today that I've got some lovely reflections as well, and there's some decent cloud in the sky. But all I need to do is make sure that I don't burn out the cloud, and I don't put the train into too much darkness. Now I know that the dynamic range of this camera is really good, so that means that I don't really always need to bracket, although I have been bracketing a lot in previous videos, but you can't bracket for a moving object, so I've got to be quite careful. So I'm just going to set this view up. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to show you what the view's like on the video camera. If I can get it to work, so I'll do that. There. So that's the view that I've got of the house there, the control tower, Ben Nevis, and the train's going to come across here. Lovely, lovely reflection. Not sure if the train will reflect, but let's see what we get. So what I'll do is take a few sample shots first, make sure everything's okay, and use the facility and camera to see if I'm getting any burnout. And I'm not, it's really good. The image is quite dark in the foreground, but I'll be able to bring that up later. I've just got to make sure I've got the balance, and I've got the Ben, and hopefully I will get that just right when I need it to. Chances are that this is likely to happen. As the train comes, I will start to follow it, and my composition will change. And maybe I should put this on a tripod, but the train's literally on its way. It's just round the corner, so I really don't have the chance to do that. Right, it's coming, it's coming, ah, it's coming. Right, make sure I've got my composition right, make sure everything's set right. Here we go, here we go, one, two, keep that steady. It's really slow, the train's going really slow. Just to focus. Moving slightly. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> I've got to get in there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, right into the driver. Yes, that is fantastic. Fantastic. I really, really like that. 
I'm a happy boy. <laughs> I'm a very happy boy. Right. Oh, very pleased, very pleased. I'm not going to go and chase it down the line. I'm not fit enough today. Big long walk a couple of days ago, and I've got to be very careful about my ME, so I could have chased it all the way along to, to my leg, got in front of it, take some pictures, and so forth, all the way to my leg, but it's a bit stressful. It's stressful doing that. I've done it before. It's not a good idea to do. But I'm going to show you a picture from Glenfinnan that was taken on Tuesday. This is now Friday, Saturday. I took a picture on Tuesday when we went for a day trip up to Malague and I'll show you where we were, where we set up and discuss the accessibility of that. Accessibility of here is actually very good, although I've come across the main road because I parked as close as possible so that, because the time was running out, I'm terrible with time. Uh, but there is parking available around here, you can cross the bridge quite easily, you can walk up and down the, the path and Neptune Staircase is just there as well. There's lots of parking available, good paths, just watch out for that road. Anyway, I'll show you what I've, uh, I did at Glenfinnan. Glenfinnan. Let's go and have a look. As the train passes by, I just want to say the images I took will be shown at the end of the video. Now then, this is the first image I have from the Glenfinnan Viaduct. And unfortunately, you can't really tell it's a viaduct at all. It's also a shame that the locomotive is pointing the wrong way. The two trips a day to Malague have the locomotive the correct way in the morning and the wrong way in the afternoon. There is no way of turning at Malague, so the locomotive swaps ends and pulls the train back so the return trips are also one locomotive the right way and one the wrong way round. Check before you go as to which way the locomotive will be pointing if you want the regular style image. I'd suggest the location I am at for returning trains with the locomotive facing the direction of travel. Now here it is further onto the viaduct. You can see the normal viewing position at the far side and probably make out the people there as well. The image I really wanted required a different angle and possibly a wide angle lens. I created what I was after by merging two images into a panorama. Unfortunately, due to the train moving, I ended up with one very long carriage. Here is an image I took for my first in the field vlog back in 2018. I had to work on that image as the standard viewing location in the middle of the day will place the train in deep shadow if the sun is out. Here is a Google Earth view of Glenfinnan. The viaduct stands out well due to its shadow. I have marked my location and you can see the normal viewpoint already marked. An update to this image is that there is now a large community built car park in the area circled. There is also a new path avoiding the use of the main road. It is shown in red and takes you right to the bottom of the climb up to the viewpoint. For access to where I am, follow the estate road towards the viaduct. Just before it crosses the river at the bridge and follow the track round and under the viaduct. There is then a path heading up by the pillars right up until you're level with the railway. Access to the viewing area is over and up an uneven trail or sheep track. Feel free as to how far up above the line you wish to get. I now finish with the images from this morning. Thank you for watching this short video. I hope you enjoyed it and if so please click that like button and if you haven't done so already click the subscribe button for more accessible photography vlogs. Thank you and remember get out, take pictures and have fun.